deal with some adversity, and uh, I think it showed that that um, you know no matter. I mean, there were a lot of high pressure situations where you know some of the younger guys had to come in and show show for the first time that they could get the job done, and it worked out. So uh, I think gave the coaches confidence and a lot of other players. Did you talk to those guys much at all, knowing that there was going to have to be an adjustment, or was it something we felt like just let them feel their own way through? It, I guess? Yeah, I mean, it's just every pitcher is different, and. Uh, I mean, they, they know. They're everyone on the staff right now is mature enough to realize what they have to do in the situation that they're going to be faced with. So, you excited to see Sully get the start tomorrow? Get another chance out there? Yeah, I mean, he he threw last week in a, in a uh, inter squad game during practice, and he was throwing really well. I know the coaches were happy with what he saw, with what they saw, and uh, you know, if he just goes out there and throws strikes, and then I mean, good things will happen with him. You've won your last five decisions. What, what's been working well for you? Um, well, I mean, in my last start, that was the first start I thought that I was throwing all strikes. I mean, I was around the strike zone pretty much the whole game besides the first. Um, but other than that, I feel like it was just just trying to get the win, and that was pretty much it, not doing too much. Because, um, I mean, at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. The, go ahead, you have No, I was just... Uh, good. Good. The turn of, and you mentioned this a little bit with the injuries and stuff. What's been the, the key, the common denominator for you guys to, you know, you lose some high profile guys, some some, some key guys, and you haven't really missed a beat the last couple of weeks, especially. Well, is there a common denominator in that? Uh, I mean, the thing is, we, I think that this team's good at, you know, we're looking past that. I mean, there's no, it's out of our control, obviously. <clears throat> there's nothing we can do. So it's not like we can dwell on it and, you know, get, like, act down or, or lose confidence. We just, I mean, it's something that happened, and it's something that we had to react to. And I think we did a good job of, uh, you know, kind of putting that in the past and working on what we have to do now to accomplish what we have to accomplish to win games. How much more well do you feel, and this is maybe a general question, but after a couple of really sustained periods of success last year, the long winning streak, that's really, I mean, how much more comfortable do you guys feel in a groove like this, maybe because of some of the runs you put together last season? Yeah, um, so, I mean, earlier this season, we were, we were winning some games. We obviously started off slow. But even the games that we did win, for some reason, I mean, I don't know if you guys talked to Skip, but, I mean, the wins didn't seem, it wasn't the same feeling after games that we won uh, earlier this season as it was last year. And I think the reason because of that, the reason is because we weren't playing good baseball. We were getting away with some wins, you know, pretty luckily. I mean, at Jacksonville, they pretty much gave us a win uh, in the ninth inning or extra innings maybe. But, uh now we are playing good baseball. Uh, our pitching and hitting are clicking at the same time along with the defense. So uh, these wins definitely mean a lot more, and especially having it being, being conference play, they mean a lot more also. When you say good baseball specifically, what do you mean? Um, the hitters are having great approaches against some, some pretty good pitchers lately. I mean, Michigan State, they're, they're probably, they, they threw the best arms that we've seen probably all year um, you know, as, as a staff as a whole. And uh, the pitchers are locked in, uh, whether it's the bullpen or the starting pitchers. And, uh, you know, the defense, they're, they're getting the job done behind us. So, I mean, collectively, we're playing, we're playing good baseball. Big Ten Pitcher of the Week, what does that mean for you personally? Um, I mean, it's just an award. Uh, I, don't, I don't really focus too much on that, on that kind of stuff. But I just go out there every single day trying to do the best I can. And I think last weekend was uh, probably the best game I've pitched all year. And that's... That's kind of what I, what I expect on myself every game, and I don't, I don't think I've had that until uh, until last week. And so, um, I mean, th- that's my expectation. So that's what I, that's what I'm going to try and do the rest of the year. As far as pitchers having to step in up into bigger roles, I mean, mostly it's just been guys extending, especially Cordy. You know, going from a guy who had you know nine innings until I think he's had more than that in the last two games. Yeah. You know, how difficult is that part of it when you're used to being you know a, a short situation guy who comes in for maybe an inning, maybe a batter, mm-hmm. uh, and turn around and be a starter after that? Yeah, I mean, well, so last week, yeah, I think he did. He threw probably twelve innings in one week, maybe. After, I don't like know, eleven. Yeah, yeah, eleven. It was crazy. Um, and he actually, I think he doubled his innings in one week than he had all year. Mm-hmm. And that, I mean, it's definitely hard. And he. He stepped up big time for us, and we definitely needed that out of him. And he did way more than what we expected. And I know that that's that's something hard to do. Um, and, and I've been in that situation before in summer ball. I, I was a I was a starter all during my collegiate season. Then in summer ball, I ended up being a reliever, having to you know do similar things. It's a hard thing to get used to. And I mean, he stepped into that situation. I mean, pretty much knowing like he like he had done it before and knew, knew what to expect. And he did a great job.